this is Brett Prettyman with the Salt Lake Tribune. We're here today looking for bighorn sheep. This is uh, the potash area along the Colorado River. Hopefully we'll find some. we got Bill Bates with the Division of Wildlife here to help us. Uh, he's got a radio collar. He's uh, your telemetry system. He's uh, checking for sheep right now and hopefully we'll find some. So we've lost our signal now. We probably have about 10 bighorn sheep with, with collars on it here. It's part of a study we did through University a few years back, and the Park Service also has a dad. They have probably another 12. If I was serious about finding bighorn sheep headbutting, well, I, probably what I'd do is come to a place like this and listen for rocks falling, rams hitting heads. It sounds like gunshots, and it'll echo clear through these canyon walls. Canyon like this that's confined carries the sound better, and you know, there's a, a bunch of sheep living up in a place like this and you know this time of year sooner or later it's going to happen more so beginning like uh, the first of October through the end of November the, at the beginning of the rut you start getting ram groups joining up together and they've always got to determine at the pecking order and who's the biggest and who's next in line and so uh, until they settle their dominance question on who's the biggest they they uh, butting heads is one of the, the big ways they do that and then Throughout the rut, you know, beginning about the 20th of October through the end of November, these rams will move from U group to U group, and so when the new ram comes into a group, you know, there's always a struggle, a dominant struggle to see who's who's the biggest guy, and uh, and so that's the time you see it a lot too.